right now I'm in Bend, Oregon, climbing at Smith Rock, which is definitely one of my favorite places in the world. I absolutely love it here. It's just a really special place to me because it's so unique. The climbing is really, really different from any other crags. It's basically featureless. It's just really thin technical climbing, which I love, and that's something I've never found anywhere else in the world. There's a river that runs through the canyon that's beautiful. There's otters in the river, there's bald eagles flying overhead, which is really cool because Smith is such a historic site for climbing. It's basically the birthplace of climbing in America. And that just makes Smith a really special place to me. Every time I come here, I just, there's a lot of love from the community. People are absolutely wonderful. They're so kind. It's just this awesome group of people that supports one another. Kate Rutherford agreed to take me up Zebra Zion, which is this three pitch gear route. So I'm excited to try that, but kind of nervous because I've never had to trust in my own protection before. I think it'll be a fun experience. I'm scary, <laughs> even though it's like 5'7. Brad leave and then just tie it over the knot. I like, know nothing except how to clip it. I think it could be within my skill set. I think the last year or two leading up to this point were kind of difficult in terms of climbing for me. I was having trouble feeling like I was meeting my expectations and achieving the goals I wanted. I think I was trying routes that were really difficult for me and didn't cater to my strengths and that was kind of discouraging and I was feeling beat down. I hadn't met those goals that I had set for myself in a long time and part of that was just finishing up school. I graduated last December, so there's a lot of time like committing to my senior year of school and then injuries were getting in the way. I had tendonitis in the top of my foot and that took about a month to heal and then last fall I had to get a spot removed on my leg and I didn't climb then for like a month or five weeks. So right when I felt like I was motivated and getting strong, then I would have to just stop climbing and I wasn't getting to commit to climbing as much as I wanted. I've been to Smith a couple times before. I know what's here. I've done a lot of the routes. So at the beginning, I wanted to clean up a few projects that I had remaining and then really set to work on to bowl. When I started climbing when I was nine, I, I didn't particularly have climbing heroes. I was just little and wanted to be in the gym climbing all the time. Tommy Caldwell came to a team practice and signed posters for the team. And the poster was of him on to bolt or not to be. And I remember having this poster in my room and being like, that is what 514 is. It's a piece of drywall. Like there aren't any holds on it. You just have to Spider-Man your way up it. And from that point on, that's what I thought 514 was. So that route always stood out to me. I knew that it was America's first 514 and it held that bit of historic significance and also significance in my own growth as a climber. So there's really two big pieces that go into Tibolt. It's very technical and it's very mental. It's basically a parking lot tipped up on its side, vertical. 100% vertical, all the draws are just lying perfectly against the wall. There's no angle change, there are no features. It doesn't really depend on fitness or strength. If you're confident in your feet, you have to trust these really, really small smears and crimps 
and you're grabbing onto basically nothing. You can't make huge movements because you're just gonna tip off the wall. You're physically performing at a very difficult level. For me, there wasn't really a crux. Every move felt very much the same from the second move all the way to the anchor. I could fall off on any given move. There's no easy move, there's no crazy hard move, but there's like 105 V6 moves or whatever you wanna call them. I could fall off at the second bolt or I could fall off two moves from the anchor. That's really stressful when you're climbing because it's kind of hard to note progress. I guess I was up there for 47 minutes, which to me it felt like six minutes. It felt really fast. I didn't feel like I ever paused because there's nowhere to pause. But each of those movements are so small and so slow and specific that 105 of them take a really long time. <laughs> to myself that I could still climb hard and try hard and mentally put myself into that mindset. It was important for me to have faith in the process. Just having that milestone be on my favorite crag in the world on the one route that I've always wanted to do, that was just really cool for me. And I think it showed me that I can continue to do this and that I can continue to push myself. You do this one rock climb that, you know, it's just climbing up a rock, but it means a lot to whoever's completing it. And it kind of rebuilds that confidence and allows you to move on to the next thing. 